guys, what's up? Serena here from thriftdiving.com. Well, I wanted to show you how to use a website. It's a free site called Homestyler. So I wanted to just show you a little bit about how to use it and what you can do with this. So I'm making over my family room. This is what my family room looks like. I know it's a hot mess, trust me, I know. But this is the room I'm making over for my 30 day September room challenge makeover. I want to replace furniture. I've got some other chairs I want to bring in. Home Styler is kind of cool because based on the measurements that I've taken, I can plan furniture, put furniture in the room. I can move my sofa from over here and see what it looks like over here. I've got my table. I can put some end tables in there. Um, you know, what if I hang some candles here? I can move the room around and see what it looks like with some pictures here, a couple chairs, cat a corner. And then I really want to do shelves. If you go here to 2D, this lets you look at your room top down, very flat, and then you can move furniture around. So let's say I wanted to move the sofa, but if I put it on 3D, now I've moved the sofa over there. So to get started, I highly recommend you take measurements of your room and then choose whichever room looks more like yours. It's a little difficult sometimes when you're working with a room that's not, you know, totally square. If you've got some spaces here, you know, maybe your room is very long and L-shaped. But if you play around with it, you can get a pretty good schematic of what the room looks like. And then um, if you want to delete that, when you highlight it and click it, it should give you this little arrow or this little X. So I'm going to delete that. Same thing with a square room. You know, if I wanted to do a room and I can make it as long, wide as I want. And I can demolish a wall. I can put a wall opening and I can also change the color of the walls. I'll show you that in just a minute. So let me close that out. If I go back to rooms, let's say I want to do this room here. Um, I want to put some windows like windows and it gives you a lot of different options. It actually gives you some brand names too, but you can use a generic window or a custom size window, make it as big or as small as you want. Let's say I want a room like that. And then I could do, you know, a 3D and there's the room we just created. Like right there with a window. So if I wanted to put some furniture, I can go to, I can put stairs, fireplaces. They have all kinds of rooms here bedroom. Let's say I want to make this a bedroom. I can use a generic bed. If there's a four poster bed that you've got, you can use pretty much, and you just drag it, drag it over there. And then if I put it in 3D mode, I can see now we have a bed. So let's just say we wanted to paint the walls. I'm going to go to 3D mode. So if I click on the wall and click this one here, wall style, I can choose the color of the wall, and it looks like they probably contract with Sherwin Williams. So you know, a lot of there's a lot of different Sherwin Williams colors that I can do. Let's say I want something. I love turquoise, so let's say I want something blue. And so if I do something blue, then maybe I want to have one accent wall, and you know, maybe I want wood paneling. Who knows? on this wall. So I could, could click over here, do wall style, then I can go to wallpaper. They don't give you many options, but let's say I wanted that wallpaper. You know, so even though they're not gonna have the type of wallpaper that you're gonna use in your room, it's just a really good way to see what an accent wall would look like. Or I can go with like wood paneling and see how that would look, which is totally ugly. <laughs> but that's not what I'm showing you. So I'm gonna change that back to paint and maybe I want a different kind of blue. And I can also train, change the wall trim too. If you want to use this for kitchens, dining room, if I want to bring in table and chairs into my bedroom. Whoops. Now that's a good point. I can't bring this in when it's in 3D mode. I have to go back to 2D and then I can bring in my table and chair in my bedroom and see what it would look like if I had a table and chair in my bedroom. So that I won't go through a full tutorial, um, but there are all kinds of furnishings. If you want plants, if you want lighting, you can go to electronics, 
if you want to put a television in your room, if you, let's say you want to put an old-fashioned TV sitting right on top of your, <laughs> your dining table, you could do that. There you go. And if you want to delete things, just click on it. It's going to give you some options. You can actually favorite some things. You can duplicate it if you want. You know, you don't have to go look for it. Um, and you can delete it there. And this is also cool, too, that you can print. You can save this, of course, and come back to it. But you can also print. So if I go to print, I should be able to print this. And I should be able to put a, a label here. This is family room. Family room makeover. And then I can print it on a grid. So on my grid, each of the little squares is, is about a foot. Um, so it will draw it to scale. Or you can print with the dimensions and actually have all of your dimensions in there too. Or you can print it plain without any grid or you know just dimensions or just print it that way. Home Styler doesn't let you print out in 3D mode, I don't believe, but you know I'm on a Mac and I just do Shift Command 4. You could easily take a screenshot on a PC as well, and I just select the picture. And then if I'm pulling up my desktop, I can see the screenshot there and I can print that out. So I hope that's helpful, guys. If you want more inspiration for home improvement, DIY, you can find me at thriftdiving.com. Thanks for watching.